Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to access SQL Server instances from network. And in this demo, we'll be using SQL Server Management Studio to do that. And we'll be discussing also the limitations on SQL Server Management version, access level on network, and protocol of SQL Server Management Studio. In this particular demo, we have a, a scenario where you probably wanted to know all the SQL Server instances that is on your network and you're connected with your network. Keep in mind that we will be going through some limitations that um, uh, why it's not appearing in your uh, network list if there is a mm -hmm. SQL Server instance. But basically the scenario is that there is a SQL Server instance that you would like to connect but you don't remember the fully name. So you would go ahead and basically explore all the SQL Server instances on your network. Keep in mind that it's going to take a little bit of time if you have a lot of SQL Server instances on your network. So I'm going to quickly show you the ways uh, in SQL Server Management Studio that how you wanted to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, go. This is my SQL Server. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and fire up SQL Server Management Studio. Here's my SQL Server Management Studio. I'm going to open it and as soon as you open SQL Server Management Studio you get this screen right here connect to a server um, the last time you your connection if you're firing Management Studio for the first time is going to take a little bit of time and there won't be any SQL Server instance right here unless there is a local one but um, if you have used this Management Studio to connect with different SQL Server it will remember some of the connections that you made last time so that's why it opened up here so let's say that uh, you click on server names right here and you will get the list right here the last time the connection that you made on SQL Server Let's say that uh, your SQL Server that you're looking for is not in the list and you would like to, you do know that it's uh, on your network and you would like to find out uh, without basically sending an email or finding out that what was the exact name. You can click on browse for more and you get two options. Local servers, this means that all the SQL Server uh, instance that's installed in this particular server right here, in my case is TBS SQL and if you would like to know the network servers all the SQL server installed on the you on your network all the SQL server that you have access to and they are residing right there so you're gonna go ahead and click on network servers it's gonna retrieve all the SQL server instances on your network now this really depends when you l look at the list on a few things that we mentioned right here let me expand this first and then I'll we'll go to the limitations so right here as you can see that uh, it has detected couple SQL server one is TBS SQL server SQL prod which is probably residing on the local and it, other right here is TBS dynamics and SQL server express so I do want you to notice right here that this is 12 this is version 10 so let's go back to our limitation here it says the first limitation is SQL Server Management Studio version. So let's go ahead and check our SQL Server Management Studio version right now. We're going to go ahead and cancel this. Click on Help and click on About. And you will see right here SQL Server Management Studio version. It's 12. That means it's SQL Server 2014 uh, Management Studio. So the reason I said that, that it depends on SQL Server Management Studio version, if you are using SQL Server Management Studio to connect, uh, to look at the network, uh, network SQL Server instances, so all the SQL Server instances that is 2014 and below, it will show in the list. But let's say that you have SQL Server Management Studio 2008. So all the SQL Server's instance in your network from 2008 downward, it will show in the list but if you have SQL Server 2012, SQL Server 2014 instance on your network that is not going to show in that particular SQL Server Management Studio uh, version. So that's why I put it out there that it really does depend on the version of SQL Server Management Studio in the list because maybe you know um, we would have later on questions that uh, okay I know that uh, there are 120 SQL Server instances on my network but I only see 30 so that could be one of the reason that you only see 30 because you're you're using uh, a lower 
um, SQL Server Management Studio and some of your instances are higher uh, versions than what the management studio you're using and the second is access level on the network how much uh, access do you have on the network do you have to retrieve all the information about SQL Server instances then yes you will but if you have a limited access then it would be it would be limited as well because the connection is basically going from your local and it's using uh, at that moment back behind the scene what uh, serve um, what SQL what account that you logged in your Windows ID in your network so that does depend back behind the scene so protocol of uh, SQL Server Management Studio also plays a great role and I'm gonna show you that uh, where you can see the protocol so if you click on database engine and you click on options and go in connection properties right here is connect to database and network protocol right here so right here is a shared memory TCP IP named pipe by default if it's a uh, uh, by default usually I, I would say that um, you know the TCP IP is but um, let's say that uh, there are you're you're using named pipe in your SQL Server Management Studio and named pipe for certain SQL Server instances are disabled then you're not going to basically see that in the network there are uh, I, I just done I have done different experiments on how to explore uh, the SQL Server instances basically on your network and I found these things um, as a limitations that I was talking about that SQL Server Management Studio version access level on the network there may be some other things that uh, basically comes in limitations uh, as far as exploring your SQL Server instance on your network but most of the time it really does work if uh, you are a DBA and you have access in, on all your SQL Server instances all you need to do basically is go in your SQL Server Management Studio click on databases and click on browse for more and click on network services servers and it will go and retrieve all the servers starting from SQL Server 2014 downward all the SQL Server uh, network uh, should appear in your list so I just wanted to quickly show you that how it's done and I hope this video helps